I'm not someone who can sing, and I've always envied people who can um, sing really well. And to me, it's just like a song that's somewhere in me that comes out. I would say I don't observe things and think, oh, that's a, that's a wonderful image, I'll write that down. It just is probably the way people have a, a song come to them, I guess. And if anything, I have to temper it with not overdoing that. I mean, I, I had a, a writer friend who, who once said, you know, you don't have to hang a tassel off the end of every sentence. So I feel like I hang them off of half of them. Um, so, in, but in terms of the real, I, that I make a conscious effort to do, which is to say, how can I ground myself? How can I pull it down? Um, I, I've taught courses in, in so-called magical realism, and one thing you learn is it's not magical so much as taking reality and seeing what you spin out of it and, and uh, tether things to. I'm not a Civil War buff. It was just that the story came to me. I, I was giving a talk at the Library of Congress and um, one of, in, for the Hispanic Division, and one of my friends said, there's a really weird m display in the map division. It was all these things called the, the Portuguese Protestants of Illinois, which I just cracked, we both cracked up. Um, and I thought, well, I don't want to do all that stuff. And, but I thought, well, I'm in, I'm in Washington, so maybe I'll go to the library and find a few things. And I started reading more and more, and um, wrote for about a year stuff that was so terrible that I just threw it in a box. And when I moved to the East Coast from California, the box was so old it broke. And there was a, a article on the top of it, this is why it is good to do research, because there was a face looking at me. And it was the face of, then he was an old man, uh, uh, John Alves, who um, said, oh, wait a minute. The book should be more from your point of view, since you grew up in jail with your mother. So I mean, um, so I, I kind of took it from, from there. I'm a big believer in going to the place and feeling it on your skin. And it's what Walker Percy calls feeling the feel of the place on your skin. And that's important. I did spend half a year in Jacksonville. Um, and you can't just read about what the wind feels like when it comes across the prairie. And it's, it's unrelenting. So y you get a consciousness for how that feels. And my last week there, it just so happened that I was walking along with something out of a science fiction movie because there were all these dead bugs crawling up onto the sidewalk and falling out of trees. And I was like, where am I? And a friend of mine there in the botany department said, oh, what luck. You're here for the hatching of the 13-year cicadas. And, and we have to close our you know, screen doors so they don't fly in. You know, we find them in the soup. So when my character is um, uh, wounded, I, you know, and he's delirious, I have him you know, imagine the 13-year cicadas. Um, mostly research is about what might apply to my characters in terms of not what they do, but who they are. So I think that that's really uh, the most important thing. I think the, no one really knows where to start is the best advice I can give you. And that it's simply putting anything down and then stepping away and being prepared for it to maybe not take shape for a while. Um, the sculptor Henry Moore said he didn't know always what he wanted to sculpt, but he would just draw random lines on a page and then one day something would seem to form uh, in front of him. And I think that, I think maybe to start it's not about how do I tell this thing or what do I tell, but what the heart of it is what the, you know, really, not just why it's important to you, but what's the heart of the material and the character. And if you could maybe make a sketch of that, and instead of thinking, how can I line all of these things up and write, you know, a book or a story, it's like, how can I make this thing, you know, blossom out, and then I may have to trim it and, you know, step away and, and do all sorts of things. Um, I think there's a nervousness about getting it right that you have to just leave aside, and it, it doesn't get easier in that way.